Meja ndongo mkubali. Mimi nitaenda nikate budget ya travel, tuweke 500 million ya hii ya wawa wanafunzi. Na nitalete bunge kesho, so mchipange huko. Na mopitishe. Muzipopitisha nitawashitaki kwa awa watu awa. So, uh, I, I, and so prepare yourself, you are going, I'm going to instruct the National Youth Service to work with you so that we can put together the facility that will manufacture devices for our children who need them for special learning. <clears throat> and finally, um, as was said here by the leaders uh, who spoke, uh, we have challenges of uh, land uh, all over the country and we're trying to align, we're trying what we want, what we must get rid of in the whole of this is impunity. We must get rid of impunity. We cannot allow impunity in Kenya. You know, we all must play by the rules. We are all equal before the law. And so um, the people who are willing to negotiate they should negotiate and have a, a settlement. That is the best way to go about it. But the people who, using impunity, want to bring fake titles, uh, seek entitlement to what is not theirs, that's not acceptable. So for the land that is in this uh, institution, I'm told some people have built flats around here on land that does not belong to them. So we are going to agree with them. We need the money to go and do the factory, so to the Katahapo, to what to live a person. Market value. This is to the end of the factory. Yaku, yaku, the devices, yawa, to the way to the island million in Yatano, and Mesema to the talk to our budget, and I'm not here. So, what we are called Banakarauri, Wambie, this is a problem to our Fani evaluation, what to let a person, why delay in a Mashayao. Ama kama sivyo, mambo tu ni yale. <laughs> si hapo si tulikubaliana sisi wote. Hapo eh, tulikubaliana. So, and, uh, and so it is to... Uh, so I, I think even on the subject that was read by Sakaja, uh, the county government, the national government should facilitate uh, a process of settlement in a way that is acceptable to the owners of the land and those who are occupying, if they are willing to pay, we should go that direction so that we can create more harmony and be able to take this forward. <laughs> Let me also um, uh, say that uh, as we move this process forward, I am acutely aware that there are many children who are at home because they, their parents have no means to uh, care for them. They are disabled in one way or another. And, and uh, I agree that our community health promoters, now that they will have 100 households to look after, they should also look for all the children who today have no access to any medical att attention, any attention of any sort, and bring them forward so that we can find a mechanism of assisting these children with special needs, children with disabilities, who today their parents have no capacity to support them. It is also the reason why we had to go on a paradigm shift in the delivery of our health uh, health delivery in Kenya. We, we had to do it in a different way. For a very long time, we concentrated on a curative mechanism, building bigger hospitals, equipping with uh, more equipment. But it is proven that if we can do more prevention, we will have less hospitalization and less curative uh, expensive uh, interventions. So the fact that we are moving to uh, more promotive and more preventive mechanisms, working with our CHPs, reorganizing our primary health care, our dispensaries, our health centers, making them people-centric, 
bringing on board better public participation in the management 